Hello and welcome back to Build Proposal Lab at Dev, uh, DevOps France uh, 2024, uh, live from Paris. Uh, and um, now with me, Ani and Aurel, welcome. Uh, we're going to talk about a very interesting concept called sketch, sketch noting. Yeah. It's the first time uh, I, I heard about it. I'm sure it's the first time for a lot of our viewers as well. Um, tell me, tell me what it is. Okay, I can go. Yeah. Okay, so it's a, a note-taking uh, technique that uh, combines both uh, visual elements and text to represent ideas information and so yeah it's um, um, against the classical way of taking notes um, it has a lot of impact and a lot of uh, advantages um, because visual uh, elements are usually much more easier to memorize and uh, they have much more impact as well so it, it reminds me of something now when you explain what it is. Um, I, uh, in a couple of my talks that I delivered, there was someone in the crowd that took uh, like a, 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 almost like a diagram of my talk, yeah. what I was talking about. And it was part visual and text that explained yeah. kind of the, the, the concept of what I was talking about. And it was... It was very nice. I, I, they gave it to me a couple of times, so I frame it and I have it in my office. I love it. it is it something like that? Yes. Uh, on my side, I am uh, using sketch hunting to explain Kubernetes, Docker, and uh, cloud technology technologies and, and Go and so on, because I am uh, a dev since um, a long time ago. <laughs> a long time. And I uh, and I uh, and I I like to help people, and I like to, to to try to explain complex things with just few words and few illustrations. And uh, and uh, and with uh, with this uh, visual way, we can uh, better understand. Uh, complex technology this is this is very very cool let's say I, I have a terrible handwriting which is true and I'm terrible in drawing which is also true uh, <laughs> this is why I'm in computers because I type everything uh, so I guess it's not for me or there is something that I still can do <laughs> thank you for the question <laughs> because one of the first things we say when we are giving the talk or like today, when we facilitated the, the, the workshop, is that uh, you don't have to be a good drawer uh, to do a sketch noting. The only thing you need to know is drawing uh, rectangles, uh, squares, and triangles, so the basic uh, shapes. If you are capable of doing this, you are capable of doing a sketch noting because we, the, the idea or the, the concept is to use uh, the very simple pictograms that are indeed a combination of, uh, of uh, basic shapes to create uh, images or pictograms. And the writing, for the writing, we have some tips as, for instance, writing everything in, in capital letters so it would be more readable than just uh, writing in your, like, in your hand um, type, I don't know, your hand writing. Um, so, yeah, you can have a lot of types. Um, just, uh, yeah, to, to summarize it, the aim is not, the aim of the sketch noting is not to, um, to have a, a very good finalized uh, version or drawing. It's more to have a visual re representation of something that will be uh, useful for you in your in your future you this is this is great okay we're going to try something crazy i don't know if it's going to work or not uh, i found it. the notebook yeah. and i want you to give us an example of how sketch noting works 
<laughs> so um, you you probably already know which examples you can you can give in order to demonstrate this technique. Uh, let's try and do it. I don't know if the camera will catch it, but I, we can try. I don't know too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we can okay, try. It's so, okay. So let's do something, and and we'll see if that will work. Okay. Okay. I can so, start with uh, uh, how sketch noting works, or do you want uh, to do the same thing that in the workshop? Yes. Yeah. The same. Okay. So uh, sketch noting basis. I like it. <laughs> I like that. So uh, first we have to uh, write the title. The, the first thing is to write the title of the sketch chat. Okay, let's see if... No, that's uh, that will be there. <laughs> At the top. Okay, let's see if we Easy? can do no? something with it. So The first thing oh, is, here is to go. write it. it yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah here it's good. we go, we got it. Okay, Quite easy. Right, yeah, perfect. Yeah. First. I guess we have to go fast. Fast, or... fast, yeah. <laughs> So uh, let's say pictograms. Pictograms at, at, <laughs> at like first yeah. place. Pictograms. So, yeah. so I will draw some pictograms. Just. Uh, All right, okay, so I'm going to show it and you're going to explain what are we looking at. Uh, whoop, let it focus. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the first point here is uh, pictograms. So this is the small uh, images element that will uh, complete the, the sketch node. It's any uh, visual element that can represent anything that you want to have uh, as a message. So for instance, we have a, a, so a person, it's not a very well drawn, but the concept is exactly this. It's, uh, it has to represent something. Uh, it's okay if it's not well drawn. So then we have uh, a bulb, we have also a clock, uh, what else, a bomb, um, and a target. So each of those will represent an idea. Yeah, no, that uh, but it's uh, it makes sense. Yeah. And now, how do we tie it together? If we want to convey a message using words and pictograms, how do we do that? So the uh, second uh, step is to uh, draw a con corners, mm -hmm. and uh, thanks to that. We can group, group things. <laughs> yeah. So we can um, create a different, different type of containers. Yep. Okay. Let's see those different types of containers. Here we go. Uh, let it zoom. Let it, here we go. Let it focus. Here we go. Now we have the containers. Yep. And there are three. You can have more. Okay. Here, the idea is to just give some examples of uh, very basic containers. We will see uh, uh, how we can put them in place. Uh, so, uh, if you, yeah, if you get me my <laughs> yep, here you go. back, yep. I will show it to you. Yeah. So, uh, now, uh, Anne is a putting some uh, containers to group all the uh, type of uh, yep. concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we can uh, use uh, some different <laughs> type of, uh, of uh, containers for the title and so on. Okay. This and is... it's uh, really uh, easy. Really uh, fast, really quick with Anne, and it's uh, really easy to, uh, to 
to uh, to learn things. Yeah, and we can see here how things. the title has its own container, which is like a banner, very nice. Yeah. And but then I'm... there is the, the idea of pictograms is now grouped, so you can see that all the pictograms are actually pictograms. And the concept of containers, it's kind of bound together to highlight that all of them are containers. Yep, very yeah. cool. And uh, we can uh, add some arrow, arrows. And we can group them in the container, I guess, now when we know how it works. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> All right. Easy. And we can use the arrow to connect to have, uh, the to connect and to connect and to know where to uh, see things first, second, third, etc. Yeah, and because it, the, it has arrows, so we can build a flow. The, the flow, I think. Oh, wow. This is... Jeez, look at us. This, we are learning a lot. Yes, yeah, so you can see here how we now have containers of arrows, which yeah. kind of explains what arrows are. And then we can see the flow of this talk. Yeah. How we started to learn about the title and then we learned about the pictograms we learned about the containers and about the errors all building in the flow love Next. it beautiful and we can uh, add uh, one or two or uh, three more uh, ideas concept uh, uh, text text because uh, because we can combine mix text and uh, so you have some tips uh, for text, capital letters, uh, bold but not too much bold, mm -hmm. <laughs> few bold, one word in, in bold. The idea is to highlight, so it should be in moderation exactly. because otherwise it's not highlighting it, everything no. is bold. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And we can also mix text and pictogram. It's, uh, it's better to, uh, to understand visually an ID, a text with a picture. Beautiful. Okay, now we put a container so around So we put text, a container. And then we tie it with the arrow the group, into yeah. our flow. And, and we create an arrow. And Easy, the, no? And everything is now tied together and makes perfect sense. Beautiful. Here is our complete uh, sketch note of this talk, of this interview, on how we learned about sketch talks. Here we go. Right, so uh, beautiful. We have the text inside in some container of these examples, for example, the bold and integration of text and pictograms. Beautiful. That was fascinating. That was really, really cool. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for sharing it with me and thank with you. our audience. And uh, where can we learn more? So you have a bunch of... Uh sources in the net obviously mm -hmm. so uh you have a lot of people sharing things in uh, social media like twitter uh you have also for instance pinterest where people share a lot uh, this kind of uh, visual uh, messages or uh, visual uh, creations uh, but i would say that uh, if you want to start learning some uh, sketch noting a very good um, reference is a book that is called the sketch note handbook from uh, mike road uh, so he's uh, the creator of sketch noting yeah. uh, he's also a professor <laughs> a researcher so he's uh, yeah very good at a lot of things yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, this is a very reference uh, so uh, a big reference of sketch noting so i would uh, recommend this one yeah. So uh, if you are interested in learn more, here you have an entire book and a lot of social media and what's not. With that, thank you very much. It was fascinating. Thank you. And uh, for you folks at home, uh, stay tuned. We have more interviews coming right up. 
So we'll see you in a couple of minutes here in Build Proportion Lab at DevOps France. Thank you and see you soon. Thank you. <laughs> it's done. We have done everything.